Now we're going to talk about what happens if for some reason your canard is damaged in the field. You run into a tree or a fence post or somebody backs a truck into it. If the canard is damaged so it's, it's, it's unairworthy, then the thing to do there is just simply remove the canard stabilizer and elevator. Just take the four bolts out of the stabilizer on the top, bottom, unhook the elevator bell crank, pull the entire unit off, pull the unit off the other side, tie the bell crank up with a, with a little piece of a tie wrap to the side frame or remove the, the, the push rod and, um, and just fly it as a stock 182. So if you need to ferry, you can take the canard surfaces off, go fly it, everything's fine, just like a stock 182. The other thing is, is if you're in maintenance, and you have to pull a cylinder, obviously some of the canard mechanism has to come off. So when I've got to pull a cylinder, I've got to pull the canard off, what I do is I take the clamps loose that secure the spar to the front engine mount cross member, those clamps that keep it from sliding side to side, I take those loose, then I'll go ahead and disconnect the push rod, and then I'll take the two bolts, top and bottom, on each side off that hold the canard spar to the side frame and then I take the entire unit off as an assembly. When I pull it off, I take the spar off with the canard surfaces, stabilizer elevator still attached to it on both sides. I just take the thing off as an entire unit, makes it nice and clean and easy. Then when you put it back on, all you have to do is just hook up some stuff and, and you're ready to go. Now also, if it's a rear cylinder, you've got to pull the, one of the side frames. So when, when you pull a side frame, obviously it's fairly easy. You've got bolts top and bottom. What I'll do is unscrew the nut on the torque tube down here and I'll put a bunch of penetrating oil in there to loosen it up because a lot of times over the years they get pretty tight. And I'll also loosen the three bolts that attach the pillow block to the standoff so the whole thing is, is, is loose and then take the bolts out of here and the, the side frame comes right off. When you reinstall the side frame you'll notice that on the later models there's a little bit of a gap. The side frame is a little smaller than the area between the clips. And that's so you can shim the side frame up and down just a little bit to give you maybe a little more clearance on the nose strut, which is kind of close sometimes. So you've got a little bit of an, uh, of a, of an area to shim up and down. And obviously, if you shim it up, you want to do the same on both sides. So make it even. That's how that comes off when it goes back together. That will get you the correct geometry for everything. You can hook up the front end. You're ready to go. So that's kind of what we do when we, when we have to ferry it or if you have to pull some of the some of the canard components off to change the cylinder. Next thing is I'll show you how to install a canard stabilizer if it's damaged and we send you a new one. So that'll be next.